I'm in Detroit at the Detroit Auto Show, and behind me, in that amber-like cube, you see the 1979 Mercedes-Benz G-Class. Stronger than time is the motto of the all-new G-Class, and that motto equally applies to the city that we are in. And I have today with me the former mayor of Detroit, Dennis Archer, who just released his memoir, Let the Future Begin. And Mr. Archer is going to take us on a tour to the revived city of Detroit. Let's go. I wrote the book, frankly, because I wanted to, to let people know what was going on in the city of Detroit that's very positive, because we suffered from a negative image for such a long time. In the early 90s, Detroit really was in despair. We were experiencing deficits. Businesses were moving outside of the city of Detroit. And in 1990, the United States Census said that the city of Detroit led the nation in having the highest rate of poverty. When you took on running for mayor, that was a big risk, wasn't it? Well, it was, but it was worth it. And it was my concern that we needed to make a change. And I went all around the city and asked, what do you want? What would you like to see your city to become? And it gave me an opportunity to say, if you allow me to become mayor, this is what we will do. Not me, we. How did your relationship to then President Bill Clinton start off and what did it do for the city of Detroit? And I get this telephone call at, from my office. So I called back and I said, what's up? I said, you need to call the White House. So I called the White House and they said, Mr. Mayor, congratulations. I said, thank you very much. <laughs> what for? And I said, what for? I said, well, the president has chosen the city of Detroit to host the G7 jobs. Come. Oh, great. Thank you very much. And when he, we're coming here, my chief of staff knew the president and the vice president liked to run. So he called and said, let's Go get them together and go run on Bell Isle. Sports is very important to this city. When you start thinking about Joe Lewis, the Brown Bomber, the boxer, etc., let's go see the stadium downtown. I got a telephone call. Would you be interested in having the Detroit Lions come back to the city of Detroit? It didn't take me but a minute to say yes. And so we started working on it. And, um, and we wound up having two stadiums built side by side. Has the city reached a full rebound? It is almost there. Everybody needs to, when they get a chance, come to the city of Detroit. There's so many wonderful things that have taken place, so many great businesses that are here, and there's a real great opportunity for young people who want to come here and start their own business and to be successful doing it.